is Cinemagraph. So right here, I open up Cinemagraph, and it allows me to essentially take a static image and animate it by taking a bunch of different images. So, great example, I've taken one already. I just took one over here with a cup of coffee. Right, so that's a static image. Now, when I open that in Cinemagraph, it's just an oh, wow. animated image. So it's just the coffee kind of moving back right. and forth. Or just a regular GIF file, yeah. right? Now what's nice about this is I can pick and choose what parts of the image are animated. Yeah. I can kind of color out what I don't want, and I can even control the way uh, the image is animated from when it starts to when it stops. I, so if somebody else is moving, for example, somebody threw something down, I just remove that animation completely. Oh. Right? So it's it's a great experience there, and it's built right into the lenses, yeah. and is unique to the Lumia 920. Right. All right, static image, looks great, it's just a cup of coffee. But now we are almost telling a story with it. Yeah. And that's HD, HD quality. Yeah, so we're taking, we can take a 1080p HD video, 8, meg, eight megapixel camera, uh, optical image stabilized, as we said. So it's actually a larger, it's an oversized sensor at 8.7 megapixel. Mm -hmm. And you get an 8 megapixel image out of it uh, in a nice wide format right. that looks absolutely For low light, you know, noise reducing image processing, all that sort of stuff is built right One thing we do with Windows Phone 8 now is we tie in things in the back end. Okay. So let's say, for example, I use City Lens and I want to find something around here right so I say I want to find food around here there you go I get an idea of what I'm looking at here mm -hmm. right and as I move around I can say I want to go to the Blur Street Diner it's not far from here it now opens up Nokia Maps to give me all the information that's built into Nokia Maps I can very easily see photos reviews anything like that see what's nearby or I can just call the restaurant and yeah, I can get directions and when I ask to get directions, it will then tie into walking, driving, anything like that. Or I can use Nokia Transit to find out bus, uh, subway, train, any you know streetcar schedules, anything like that. Have a good one. It's great to see you again. Into things now. Um, Drive Plus gives me worldwide turn-by-turn -turn navigation for free. That's built in the Lumia 920 for the charge. Perfect. Yep, absolutely. And it's all complemented by some amazing services. You see there, right? Drive looks fantastic. Not yeah. enough places to park apparently yeah. in the city. But I can really kind of customize my entire uh, my entire experience there. Right. And I can set to 2D, 3D. Uh, it goes into an automatic night mode. Gives me things like speed limit warnings. Mm -hmm. If I'm going over a speed limit, it'll beep and let me know. One interesting thing about that is that even when the application isn't running, I can still have a speed limit warning you running can. in the background. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So even when I'm just driving, my phone will tell me when I'm going too fast. Or even smarter, you can do large, uh, large wide tiles, right? You've got notifications that come in different ways uh, inside the tiles themselves as well. And the tiles themselves show you different amounts of information depending on their size. Right. So you've got the mini tile. If I go into Nokia Drive, I can then have a large tile that'll show me elements of my route and everything like that, or just a regular size tile that allows me to see just a high level kind of view of, of how I'm navigating. I like to keep a nice small tile right. and move quickly between them, just like that. Yeah. Very simple to Put do. Put the phone down, and it starts to charge. Yeah. Right? Generally, we find that the phone will charge about four hours, top to bottom, wow, okay. yeah, on the wireless charging pad. And the nice thing about it is, when I've got it on my desk, I can still access the phone, I can still use it, right. I can pick it up very easily. It's now connected, because I've already paired through NFC. Sure. I can start to play music. When I bring the uh, when I bring my hand closer to the speaker, I've got buttons that just kind of light up, mm. and it starts to play. And then as soon as I put the phone down, it'll start to charge on top of the uh, speaker as well. And then I can pause and control uh, volume, anything I want, right from the speaker itself. All right, then alerts and alarms will just come through uh, through the speaker as well. Anything, yeah. anything. So anything. you can use it for for Skype. Absolutely, it's it's Bluetooth stereo. So okay. any sort of audio stream that you have coming out of the uh, device, yeah. very cool. You can do that.